Good evening, everyone. I'm Charlie Lapistor. Mississippi State starting out its basketball season strong. There will be a doubleheader on November 10th, the day before the football team will play. Oh, yeah, Alabama. It'll be the men's team playing Alabama State. The women's team will play Virginia. Both will be at Humphrey Coliseum this day, so mark off your calendars. It'll be a busy weekend for you Bulldogs fans. For the Southern Miss men's golf team, they can start planning for their competition this season after they release their schedule today. This season, there will be 13 tourneys, which include the Conference USA Championship. The team season opens up at the Hattiesburg Country Club September 11th through 12th. The Golden Eagles hosting the Sam Hall Intercollegiate. Coach Jerry Weeks said, quote, I'm excited about the upcoming golf season. We have a schedule that is very challenging and will be a great test. This year's team, while still young, is very talented. I look for them to accomplish great things this year, end quote. Well, are you ready for some football? With the NFL preseason underway, we've got some highlights for you. But first, one Dallas Cowboy won't be ready for that football, for the regular season at least, after getting suspended. That's right, Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott is being suspended six games under the league's personal conduct policy. Now, Elliott can appeal this decision within three days. If he doesn't, that suspension will start on September the 2nd. He can still play in preseason practices and games. This comes after a year-long investigation for allegations against Elliott for domestic violence. Let's hear from Peter Harvey, who was a former New Jersey Attorney General and one of the four external advisors that participated in the review of the evidence in the Elliott investigation in a conference call on the suspension today. Now, Harvey said the victim did have evidence, photos of her injuries that were taken the day of the alleged incident. He also mentioned this among other reasons that led to the suspension. There were over 100 exhibits uh, to the investigation. The investigative report exceeded 160 pages. And we came to the conclusion, at least I reached the conclusion uh, individually, that Mr. Elliott engaged in physical force against Ms. Thompson and that it caused injury. Now to the Saints game. Their first preseason one was against the Browns. Here's the third round pick out of Tennessee, Alvin Kamara showing what he can do for a 22-yard run, first down in the first quarter. Second and 10 now for the Saints. Rookie on the other side of the ball just so happens to be that first pick in the draft, Miles Garrett. He was double-teamed, as you can see him. It's a nice spin move. The Saints, they're forced to punt. Now on this punt, another rookie, utility man out of the University of Michigan, Jabril Peppers, gets this punt return, fields it, making moves, has a sick 15-yard punt return to his left, to his right. Now we'll take you to the fourth quarter. It's rookie Deshaun Kaiser, quarterback, drafted in the second round out of Notre Dame. Fourth two, down one, tosses one up with the blitz coming. Finds Jordan Payton for a deep 45-yard touchdown. Kaiser went 11 for 18, throwing for 184 yards and a touchdown. Browns win this one 20 to 14. Well, former NFL Green Bay Packer receiver Donald Driver served up cream puffs as part of his thank you fans tour, demonstrating and appreciation for Wisconsinites and their traditions. He said he's back in Wisconsin at least twice a month and has a lot of stuff planned. You know, I told people before, I was going to be, once I retired, I wanted to be ingrained in the state of Wisconsin. This is home for me, you know. Born and raised in Houston, Texas, but at first when I came to Green Bay, you know, it was just a team. I was trying to make the team. And now it became family. So this is home, this is my family, and uh, I want to continue to come back. As long as the fans love me to come back, I'm going to keep coming back. Looks like he's enjoying those cream puffs, too. I know. Nice retirement tree. You deserve it. It's a fun thing to get out and get to do. Yeah. Everybody's going to have a smile on their face when you're handing them something sweet like that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. No problem.